People died every day. Oh. Why not give nature a helping hand? Hello, I'm Bella from Tina in Brazil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So the show is amazing. Congratulations. It's really nice to meet you because I'm really impressed by, by you guys, really. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So the show is called Bad Sisters, but are they bad sisters, though? What do you guys think? <laughs> I mean, yeah. make some bad choices. Yeah, <laughs> definitely make bad choices from the second the show starts. They're doing a bad thing for good for a good reason. Yeah. I think that's why I, I I kind of love the title in the end because it's um you know you could you those you can have a wildly differing opinions on 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 what they did and and also even within the the show itself you know they would be considered bad. In a very basic way, by by John Paul, but they are they're they're good girls. Good hearts. They're bad ass, I think. <laughs> yeah, bad ass sister. She wasn't always like that. He's sucking the life out of her. Well, we we'll just have to wait till he dies of cancer or something. <laughs> and uh, Sharon, you said that within the sisters, the dream is that everyone finds a character that they can relate to and identify with. So my question for all of you is what sister do you identify with? Is it the one that you play or another sister? <laughs> oh gosh. Good question. Yeah, good question. Yeah. Well, I initially, when I first read the scripts, I didn't identify with Ursula initially. And I and, and I did, I did ask, what about BB? Would you see me as BB? Well, that was only because I wanted to wear an eye patch. It was very superficial. <laughs> um, but sort of after... I explored the story and the character versus the more um, I was then able to sort of relate to certain aspects of her personality. I mean, I think we are quite different. She's quite neurotic and oh, selfish, yeah, and, um, which I'd like to think that I'm not. Um, but and she ha and she hasn't made great choices in her life, which I can relate to. Actually, I think we've all we've all done that at some time or another. But it's interesting just when you're sort of approaching a script as an actor to it's really necessary and essential to find those elements of your character that you that you do relate to. Because I think when you go to play it, it has to come from a yeah, place of, of honesty. Totally. And truth, it? It's so funny about your BB story. And I didn't tell you this the other day, but I, I sort of initially um thought I might want to pay uh, <laughs> BB <laughs> because again it's just there's something about the boat the, the arrow yes. and, and, and the eye patch um, and, and yeah. it just felt the most sort of you know marvel yeah I got it yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. and uh I don't know I suppose part of me really identifies with uh Becca but from you know when I was younger kind of perspective like I sort of I love her freedom but I really relate to her you know sort of whatever you want to call it her the, her the crisis she's sort of she's having I I find um I find that really relatable even at you know the a the mm -hmm. distance that age gives me that feeling yeah I'd agree I think mm. Becca, I don't relate to you BB, don't but my partner is so <laughs> I really do a lot of um inspiration from him <laughs> 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 That's great. And hypothetically speaking, of course, if you committed a crime, what cast member would you choose to help you hide the body? Oh, was he going to say who kill? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm Ursula different. is really useful. Um, oh, they're going to say useless. Uh, useful. Oh, the actor. Yeah, yeah because she's a, the, the actor. The actor. Yeah. Oh, the so, actor. Yes. I think I would pick you. Would you watch? Yeah. What? I don't know. I feel like but I'm really flattered. <laughs> yeah, I think you take it to the grave with you and I I protect it all the time. Yeah. Wow, you think I wouldn't take it? No, to I the also grave? think you would. I think you would, but I feel you like say you I'm would. A grass? No, I don't think you're a grass. I think that. <laughs> I don't think. You no, know, I'll stop. <laughs> I, 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 no, I, I think I think that's a that's a good call. I feel like Eve Houston might know some people though. She does. She does. You know, I yeah. feel like yeah. if I needed to get rid of her problem, yeah, um, she might be able to, that's you know, true. yeah, contact. Speak well, <laughs> and my last question is: if you could uh, say what the show is about in a tweet, what would you say? Yeah, it's about family and, and loyalty and the idea that you would um, do anything for the, for the people you love. God gave John Paul the strength to be an unforgettable human being. Let us give thanks for the joy he spread his whole life long. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
first, congratulations on the share. It's amazing. You guys were amazing in it. Thank <laughs> you so much. We really appreciate that. Thank you. So my first question is, the show is called Bad Sisters, but are they bad sisters, though? Well, this is what's great, isn't it? Because it really poses the ethical question. You know, clearly, it is never right to murder somebody. However... <laughs> I'm very excited to hear what's coming now. <laughs> However, if you're rescuing somebody who is being slowly killed by their husband, perhaps, 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 you know, it's, so it's a, it's, it's a great one. It's a great conversation starter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And my next question is for Clay's. Uh, usually when an actor is playing someone that is not a very good person, uh, they try to understand the character, right? So uh, my question is, how was understanding John Po? Because to be honest, every time he appeared, I just, I really didn't like him. <laughs> that And that's, and that, that's very good. Because I think that's what the show needs, that, that you don't like him. But it was very easy to do in that sense that We all have these dark sides. We all have uh, sort of, you know, inferiority complexes. We all have that narcissism. We all have the jealousy. We all. So it's just a question of, you know, allowing it to be there and shine more light on that. Because, I mean, everything he does and everything he says is just so horrible. So it's just a question of just, you know, letting it like seed through you in a way. So, so um, I'm, 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 I'm sad to say, but it was very easy to play someone that horrible. I Lex, thought. I'm warning you. She doesn't respect you. Kiss your weak. The show shows us this abusive relationship and how it affects the people around them. I mean, we see how it affects the daughter of your characters and yeah. the sisters. So what is the message that you want the viewers to get from this story? It's tricky, isn't it? Because you can't... Almost in a way, you don't want to signpost messages. But you and I know there could very well be somebody sitting watching this story who goes, well, that's something really familiar to me and I know that it's wrong. And I can see, because I'm watching it objectively, I can see that even more clearly. So who knows the effect that it will have on an audience. All we knew was we had to tell it as truthfully as we could inside of this heightened sort of reality of the piece, we still tried to represent it properly mm -hmm. and make sure that you felt that this was a couple, as distorted as it may be, who really loved the bones of each other and that it had been a marriage and it had become so distorted and desperately sad. But you know, also we come into the relationship quite late yeah. on. So, so um, I think it, it hasn't always been this bad and sort of see why they actually found each other in the what in the first place and now it's just gone yeah it's at a tipping point it's at a tipping point isn't it and the tipping point is what drives the sisters on with their murderous objective break these in for me will you just wear them around the house I want to ask about the sisters because Sharon Horgan said that within the sisters, the dream is that everyone finds a character that they can relate to and identify with. With what sister do you guys identify the most between Ooh. them? Wow. Um, That's a really difficult question. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sharon also said to us, though, uh, quite early on, that each of the sisters was a different side of herself. <laughs> So that's interesting, isn't it? Um, so maybe it's just the piece of each of them. I think you identify with them all at different times, and that's good storytelling, yeah. so that you care equally about them all. You know, so in one moment you really feel desperately for Ursula and then for BB and then and then you know, definitely for Eva and Becca, you know. So I think I think all of them in their own way. Is that me? That's me totally copping out, but I do think you feel for all of them. I completely understand. And my last question for you is, hypothetically, if you committed a crime, what cast member would you choose to help you hide the body? Just <gasps> hypothetically. <laughs> Probably Clays. Really? Would you trust me with that? <laughs> There's a darkness. Yeah. Yeah. We could be partners in crime. We'd be good. I think yeah. we'd be good. We'd yeah, be Bonnie we'd be, and Clyde, baby. Be, yeah, we could be. We, yeah, totally. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank the show you. is amazing. Just explode a man. He thinks someone's trying to kill him. That's insane.